Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who've been before you know it has been a little while since I recorded anything and um, I'm back in Italy and honestly we've just been like reconstructing our house. I've been ill as well so if you hear me a little bit snuffly that's why and also the weather has just been, we've had weather warnings and everything but I finally found a moment to record this video, which I wanted to do sooner, but I was waiting for some things um, online, but they finally come. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my kids Halloween basket or boo basket as the Americans call it, which I prefer. So that's what I'm going to be um, calling them. So I do these for my kids because unlike in England and America, you know how you see children dressing up and knocking on doors and singing songs? They don't do that in Italy. Um, what they do instead, like you can go around shops and things and get sweets, uh, but they don't tend to knock on people's houses here. So I do these boo baskets just to give to my children. Um, I might actually... Do, I might not do one next year so this might be my last one because I do um, Easter baskets and I do Christmas Eve baskets. We're not really into Halloween but anyway I'm going to show you what I got them because as well as trying to stick with the theme because I like to stick to the Halloween theme. I also like to get things that they're actually going to use. I don't like wasting. And recently we've just gutted out um, their bedroom full of stuff. So this stuff I know they will use and I did manage to find it in Halloween themed stuff. So it's great. So yeah, we're gonna get on into it because um, you don't wanna hear me ramble on. All the stuff that I bought, I will tell you where I got them. But if you're in England, you're lucky because you have places, a lot of places to go that you can do this on the cheap. So hopefully um, this will give you some inspiration. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you their basket um, while they're empty. So I made these baskets for my children and they have served me well. So obviously it's got their names on and these are the baskets that this stuff will be going into. So I just wanted to show you that. And I just want to let you know, um, we do it like a scavenger hunt around the house. So I tend to find um, these like printable, um, like scavenger hunt um, things online. And then I just stick them onto card. I just need to cut them up. And they use like a little basket to collect like little chocolates and stuff and get the clues to find their basket. So that's just another thing that I do as well to keep it fun for my children. So yeah, I'm going to pick them up because um, we've kind of tried to stay with the same. So just for a bit of fun, I got them a little cheap headband. Um, they weren't expensive ones. Um, these are just to wear when they're hunting for their baskets around the house. So the skeleton one is for Dane and the pumpkin one is for Liana. And you will notice as well, I kind of go on a theme. So Dane's theme is kind of like skeletons and Liana's is pumpkins this year. I found these adorable little pens. My kids love to just doodle and draw. So the ghost one is for Dane and the pumpkin is for Liana. And I just found that these um, little lights, um, they were just cute and just something to fill up their baskets. I haven't pulled out the tags yet, but they're just like little lights. And I did just get this um, notepad for Liana. Um, she can use it for school or whatever. And even though it's not Halloween themed, I did find these pack of bubbles for Dane. So he loves cars and trucks. Um, but obviously, yeah, they, you know, three-year-olds, they love bubbles as well. But I couldn't find Halloween ones. So these ones will have to do. And I also like to get them, even though my daughter is now eight and she's kind of gone out of the whole like dolls and stuff phase, but she really loves the mini so make it mini food. So I found her the Halloween one, um, which is really cute. And if you look at the wrapper, it tells you what you've got. So it looks like we've got the cake 
which is displayed here. So that'll be really fun. And then for my son, again, he's obsessed with cars and I couldn't find anything like that was Halloween style, but I did find these. These are the Majorette tune-ups. Um, basically, you get a car inside and you get like the stuff to kind of um, accessorize it. These are new for him, um, but he's obsessed with all these little model cars. He has loads of them. So this will be a nice thing for him to start collecting. And that is his little surprise. Sorry, I'm just reaching over. I did also get, um, my daughter has a Tony box. Um, if you don't know what a Tony box is, basically it's like a um, speaker that's got foam around it and you put like magnetized characters on and it reads stories and whatever. It has been the best present I've ever bought her because she likes to go to bed listening to either music or stories. So I got her this um, worst witch character and she's going to love it because I bought her the um, Worst Witch book series for her birthday and she's been reading them because she loves things like Harry Potter. So when I found this for her Tony box, I thought, yeah, that's just really good. It's something she can listen to um, at night time. And then for Dane, he loves the Orchard Toys. Now, this is a UK company. And they do lots of games because even though now my daughter is into like computer games, they do still like board games. And obviously I really like that as well. I want to encourage it. And we love the Orchard Toys. His favorite one at the minute is the shopping list one. And we play that almost every day. He has a couple of others. So I found this haunted house one and I thought that would be good to add to his collection. So I know he's going to really love that one. And they're just really nicely made. They're made on like a really solid cardboard. So yeah, they're just really good. So check them out. And I just got them stickers each. Um, I got this one for Dane. Like I said, he's got, I've kind of gone on a skeleton theme for him. And I got this pumpkin and cats one for Liana because she loves cats as well. So they're just really cute. And all kids love to just play with stickers, don't they? Um, so yeah, that is that. And another thing I got for my son, my son has recently gotten into busy books. So if you don't know, this is what a busy book is. And basically, and I found this um, Nightmare Before Christmas one, and he is obsessed with the song on that. We watched the film last year for the first time. Obviously, he was only two then, but it's obviously stayed in his mind. My daughter loved it as well. Um, and he loves the This Is Halloween song. <laughs> so I found this and it was actually less than half price. So I had to get it. But basically it's the story, you know, and right at the back you get little figurines and you also get a mat that folds out and it's a scene. So you can play. So this is um, how it looks on the back. So you can play with the figurines at the minute, he has the Lightning McQueen one and he just loves it because he's obsessed with cards and he loves Lightning McQueen. So I thought get him this Halloween one and start to collect these ones because he does also have like wind up toys uh, books as well that he loves. So, yeah, I just thought this was really cute. Again, these are really well made because... It's like on a card and you can see that it's nice and thick so they're not going to destroy it. And the fact that it comes with little figurines, you know, kids just love it. And the fact that I got this, it was like 60% off. So I got an absolute bargain with this. So I'm so made up with it and I think he's going to love it too. And then I'm just checking the last cutesy kind of toy thing I got were these plushies. I mean, look at them. So my daughter is not into Barbies or dolls and stuff anymore, which I'm a bit sad about, but she loves squishy mellows and she loves cats. So when I saw this, I mean, hello, can we just appreciate how adorable that is? So like I said, it's going with her pumpkin theme and it's a cat, so it's absolutely adorable. But also my son is showing interest in her Squishamellows as well. 
he likes cats too. They didn't have like a skeleton one, but I thought this was close enough. It's like a mummy style one. And again, just so adorable. They can use these on their bed and squish them. So like I said, I just wanted to get things that were actually useful and that they'd use because I don't want to waste um so they are just absolutely adorable. They are going to love them. And then finally, what is um, Boo Baskets without sweets and chocolate, right? So my daughter loves these sour spaceships and I got my son this um, candy floss, but this is cola flavoured, which sounds absolutely disgusting. But, you know, kids are kids and this is what they love. So that is them. And I did find these cute little boxes. These are, are they like gummies or something? But it's like a skeleton that says build it yourself, which again, it's just nice and fun. It's sweet, which kids love. So I thought that was really sweet and they can kind of play around with it as well. So I got them then. I did just get my daughter this popping candy as well. Again, it's in the pumpkin theme. Obviously, at the moment, Dane is too young for popping candy, so I didn't get him one, but that is that. And finally, I found these boxes, and I thought they were so cute. They call them snack boxes, and I just thought, how adorable. But inside, I have actually, let's see if I can open it, put all their chocolates. So I've got all these chocolates with like Halloween themes and chocolate eyeballs. And yeah, that is what their sweets are gonna stay in. And again, kids just love chocolate, don't they? So I just thought they were really cute. I can use them each time to fill up with sweets and what have you. So that is everything. I do hope you enjoyed this haul, or I hope I gave you ideas. Um, there's still time to run down to the shops if you need to grab anything, or if you want to start one. Like I said, I might actually not do one next year. I might just focus on sweets. But I'm glad with all this stuff, obviously. Um, give this video a like and check out my channel for further ones. I hope to see you again, guys. Bye.